no, you want to join. You want to join for this one. You can. You can join me. Tell the people hi. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Return of the Disc. There's been a lot of complaints lately about orders on Amazon being delayed. Stuff like that. And, you know, Best Buy leaving physical media now. Walmart getting in the cool steel books, but some of them are being stocked. There's just been some delays in shipping overall as well. I wanted to do a video about where to buy physical media in 2024 and some stuff that I do, some places that I go, and you know, some alternatives to Amazon, Walmart, Target. I know a lot of Target stock in stores is, you know, mostly vinyl now, but they're still their website still works. A sleeper pick for me out of like the bigger chains, it's gotta be Barnes and Noble. When you look at Barnes and Noble, I was curious. A lot of people are complaining that their James Cameron 4Ks are, are not shipping. There's delays till like May, possibly into June. But I, I noticed on Barnes and Noble that there is true lies. You can actually get it in store, pick up in store. You know it's 40 bucks but it's available in store and i thought that was very interesting where amazon doesn't appear to have copies now i've heard conflicting reports that due to like supply chain issues or warehouse issues didn't print enough yada 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 whatever reason barnes and noble they seem to have a lot of stuff and they do have aero sales keenan lorber sales and they have other miscellaneous sales in store, 30% off uh, discs and stuff. I actually ordered the Iron Claw and the Crow from Barnes & Noble's website. And you can't forget, Barnes & Noble also has 50% off uh, Criterion Collection twice a year. Another great website, Hamilton Books. It's a bookstore online, but they have 4K, DVD, Blu-ray, CDs even. I've seen some vinyl on here, but the Blu-rays, let's see, like they've got 81 4Ks right now, 1,153 Blu-rays, some 3D Blu-rays, and you can price range it under $5. You know, there's 480 discs for under $5. I mean, it's, it's let's refine our search here. It, I mean, you can get some miscellaneous, off the wall, a lot of surprising like the inside man five bucks you know dumbo five bucks but they have they have a lot of great deals and they update it weekly i always check hamilton book orbit dvd is another one i haven't actually ordered from them but i've heard a lot of good things from orbit dvd just another option to check and diabolic dvd i've ordered them a few times they have some great packaging as far as their shipping it's always in a box but they get a lot of stuff too that is, you know, deep cuts and foreign releases, a lot of UK Aero stuff, um, Second Sight, I know, but a lot of Diabolic stuff, they, they, they see, look, they, they ship the cheaper FedEx international shipping rates. So they ship internationally too, which is great. But a lot of their stuff is, you got to get it quick. For if it's on pre order, it's going to sell out. Grindhouse Video is another one I've heard of, and I haven't used it, but it looks like they're doing a sale all year round here. 10 months, 10 sales. But right now, you can buy two, get one free. It looks like Arrow titles, and they actually have the Crow right here. Pre-order. Out of stock, but uh, for the most part, you're going to find a lot of stuff, too. Again, that's you know hard to get in stores or impossible to find in stores on uh, Diabolic and Grindhouse. And I'd also recommend just going to the label's website, Aero site, Kino Lorber is one of my favorites. They've always got uh, their pre-orders are here. And, you know, a lot of these do sell out too, as far as, you know, if you're looking for slip covers, they sell out, but they do get them back in stock. I know too, when I've pre-ordered with Kino Lorber, you get the disc sometime week, a couple weeks ahead, a couple weeks of everybody. So it's, sometimes it's better to go to the actual label source, you know. Go to the Keenan Lorbers, go to Shout Factory, go to Arrow, go directly. Then just throw in the third party. Like, Amazon gets the stuff from the labels. And they may not get enough. 
Criterion is another website. You know, they, they run flash sales. They had one recently last month. Criterion is another good source. Another thing, too, that I've noticed lately is when I want to watch a movie, you know, and it's available, like, digitally to rent only and sometimes not even. You know, there's some older films that I've been trying to find and I honestly got them from the library. My library here, your local library, they usually have DVDs. Some have Blu-rays. It depends where you're living. But the library now has sort of become a de facto video store. And it's free. Just all you need is a library card. Just, you know, of course, there's always late fees and, and such. Uh, although my library, for, for whatever reason, has adopted the no late fee system. Just sort of return it when you can, which is kind of cool so don't underestimate the power of the library still yeah you know um, it's also way cheaper so there's a wide variety too I mean I've, I've, I've found gems at Dollar Tree Big Lot Dollar General places like that that you wouldn't expect I've found some good deals uh, so they're out there um, a lot of places in person have really cut down on their stock unfortunately but I wanted to give you guys some suggestions on websites and, and what I kind of do to navigate outside of Amazon. Um, just to kind of give you guys a little help out there. Where do you guys buy physical media from in this current climate of physical media? Let me know below in the comments. And as always, this is my turn of the disc. I'm Dan. And isn't that right, Mags? Isn't that right?